today was a maximum effort day. Started out with bench press against chains and foreboard. As you can see, I'm starting off with 135 and there's no board. I generally add the board when I get to my heavier sets because I want to get a full range of motion. So I moved on to 225. Punched out some reps. Moved on to 315. As you can see, I have my feet on the bench. That's because I'm getting set. I'm pressing my upper back into the bench and I'm using my heels to plow into the bench. So I'm actually pushing down into the bench. Then I added my foreboard, went to four, I went to 365. And I just cranked out reps as three. Went to 405, again another set of three. Now what these do is they work the upper part of the bench press and they eliminate shoulder work because the weight is so high you never get low enough and also takes out the lats. And then I moved to 435 dead single. And then 455 and did a single. Afterwards it was time to do two board pressing. This is a great exercise. It works the lower part of the bench press but it takes out the shoulders. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just do full range bench press maybe once a week on my speed day or once every other week and just concentrate on overloading the top more and more and more. I need to be using above 500 pounds on the top end to get my central nervous system used to heavier weight and then eventually I need to push that to six and have to be handling over 600 pounds in the lockout position to do the kind of weight that I need to be doing. Um, then I moved on to press downs. Did these kind of light, three sets of 10. Just concentrating on the movement, concentrating on making sure that the tricep flexes or fires at the bottom. And then afterwards, moved on to close grip pull downs. I did three sets of 10. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time.